FIU President Mark Rosenberg is a liar and a panderer. The proof is in the pudding. In a letter written to students, faculty, and staff, Mr. Rosenberg makes many false claims and misleading accusations to try to spin the events of January 12th in which seven individuals were arrested for interfering with an educational institution. In his letter, he says that these seven individuals were arrested for, and I quote, disrupting school functions, unquote. But if we want to talk about disrupting school functions, you need only go into my videos to see something recorded last semester in which a marching band passed by the very building where these school functions were supposedly to be disrupted. Is this a double standard? Or is it simply Mr. Rosenberg spinning lies of deception? In the same letter, he also claims that the, everyone was given five minutes by police to leave the area before being arrested. Quote, the police notified the group that if they didn't leave in five minutes, they would be arrested, unquote. As an eyewitness, and as many of the videos that are online will attest, the police never made an announcement to the group stating any kind of uh, you know, demand that they leave or they would be arrested. The police never made a public announcement at all. So these are the two big lies that he makes in this, uh, in this letter uh, where he also claims that it, FIU is a university, quote, dedicated to the education, dedicated to education and free speech, unquote. Um, like many others, I don't think it's up to the administration to tell students when and where they can express their First Amendment rights. Arresting seven individuals preemptively for the possibility of disrupting school functions is inappropriate and unethical. You arrest people for committing crimes, not for the possibility of committing a crime. However, I stand by the notion that no crime was to be committed and that these seven individuals who were not even informed of their charges until after already being in custody for several hours, they were not going to commit any crime and they were not going to disrupt any school functions. What sort of a message is FIU sending, willing to arrest individuals and hold them for hours before even telling them why they were arrested? And then the charges placed against them weren't even committed. So ladies and gentlemen, don't drink the Kool-Aid, don't buy Mark Rosenberg's lies. Demand that FIU drop these insidious charges and demand that free speech be reinstated in the United States and especially in our public schools, which should be bastions of free speech and assembly.